Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Harsham Ali Khan. Now in this video, I'm going to complete the seventh problem. So far, first six problems I have completed and the last two problems also I have completed in the previous videos. Now before starting the seventh problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always uh, take a printout and keep it ready. Take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board then I'll explain everything in detail. Now see the seventh problem. <clears throat> From the following transactions, write journal entries and post them into the ledger in the books of Bhaskar. So Bhaskar is the owner of the business and we have to pass the journal entries and we have to post them into ledger accounts. So first of all, journal entries. Seventh problem, Bhaskar, journal entries. Date particulars, LF, ledger folio, debit credit. This is the format. First, in 2015, March 1st, that is the first transaction. Goods sold for cash. When goods are sold, cash is coming in. So cash account should be debited and sales account should be created. Goods sold. So cash account data are two sales, 2600. Narration. I have not written the narration in examination. You must write the narration also. Being the goods sold for cash. Next one is goods purchased for cash. When goods are purchased, goods are coming in and cash is going out. So cash should be credited. Entry will be purchases account data to cash. Purchases account data to cash. Being the goods purchased for cash. Next third, purchase of goods on credit from Kumar. This is the credit purchases. Whether cash purchase or credit purchase, purchase account should be debited. Now in this case purchase account data to who is the person Kumar So Kumar should be credited so entry will be purchases account data to Kumar account 3000 being the goods purchased on credit next fourth one sale of goods to Manikyam on credit goods are sold to Manikyam on credit so Manikyam is the receiver rule is debit the receiver so entry will be Manikyam account data to sales. So here Manikyam account data to sales, 4000 being the goods sold on credit. Next one is cash received from Manikyam. When cash is coming in, cash should be debited. So entry will be cash account data to Manikyam. So cash account data to Manikyam, 2500 being the cash received. Next, sixth one, cash paid to Kumar. So Kumar is the receiver. He should be debited. So Kumar account data to cash. Cash is going out. So cash should be created. Kumar account data to cash. 2000. Being cash paid. Last one. Furniture purchased for cash. So when we purchase the furniture, furniture is coming in. So furniture should be debited. Cash is going out. Cash should be created. So furniture account data to cash account. Three being the furniture purchased. That's all. So we have completed the general entries. Now we have to post them into ledger accounts. So we have to open all the accounts. Like we have to open the cash account. First entry cash account data to sales. So we need cash account, we need sales account. So we have I opened here ledger accounts, cash account, and sales account. Next, purchases account. I have opened purchase account. Cash already it is there. Then purchase account already made, Kumar account. So I have opened the Kumar account. Then Manikyam account, here Manikyam account I have prepared. Sales account already I have prepared here. Cash account already prepared, Manikyam account already prepared. Kumar account already prepared. Last one furniture, furniture account I have prepared here. That's all. Now we, are, we need the posting. Already two, three problems I have explained you how to post the transactions from journal to Ledger. <coughs> Again, I'm explaining cash account data to sales. So <coughs> cash account should be debited, sales account should be credited. So cash account debit. So debit side cash account 
to sales. How much? 2600. It is debt first. Over. So cash account is debited. Sales account is credited. So sales account credit site by cash. 2600. Debt is first. Over. First transaction post it. Second transaction purchases account debt are to cash. So purchases account debit side to cash. How much is the amount? 200. Debt is second. So purchase account is debited. Cash account should be credited. So cash account credit side by purchases. How much? 200. Debt is second. Over. So two transactions posted. Third, purchases account debt are to Kumar. So purchase account debit side to Kumar. To Kumar, how much? 3000. Debt is 3. So third debt purchase account was debited. Kumar account should be credited. So Kumar account credit side by purchases. By purchases, how much? 3000. And third date. Over. Three transactions completed. Fourth transaction. Manikyam account data to sales. So Manikyam account debit side. To sales. How much is the amount? 4000. And date is fourth. So Manikyam account is debited. Sales account should be credited. Sales account credit side by Manikyam. How much? 4000. Debt is 4th. That's all. Next debt is 5th. Cash account debt are to Manikyam. So cash account is debited. So cash account debit set, debit side Manikyam. How much? 2500. 2500. Debt is 5. So cash is debited. Manikyam account should be credited. So Manikyam account credit side by cash 2500 fifth debt or the next one is kumar account data to sales so kumar account debit site kumar account data to cash so kumar account debit site to cash how much 2000 sixth debt so kumar account is debited cash account should be created by kumar how much amount 2000 Sixth debt. Last transaction furniture account data to cash. So furniture account debit side to cash. To cash 300. Debt is seventh. Right? And cash account should be credited by furniture. By furniture 300. Seventh. That's all. All the transactions I have posted in the ledger account. Now we have to find out the balance. Balancing. How to make the balancing? Already I have shown in the previous video. Again I am showing here. 2600. To debit side you take the total. 2600 plus 2500. 5100. Here also take 5100. From 5100 deduct all the three items. Minus 200. Minus 2000. Minus 300. 2600 this is the balance carried down this is the last date 7th next date will be 8th March to balance brought down how much is carried down here 2600 over <coughs> this is the balancing of cash account same balancing for sales account 6600 is the total same 6600 you take it on the debit side 6600 to balance carried down this is the last date 7th now next date is 8th by balance brought down 6600 over balancing now next here purchase account 3200 is the total on debit side same 3200 I am taking on the credit side. 3200. By balance carried down. 7th date. Here 8th date. To balance brought down. 3200. 
purchase account is closed that means balanced now i'm balancing kumar's account so credit side 3000 same 3000 i'm taking on the debit side so 3000 minus 2000 balance is 1000 this is to balance carried down seventh date eighth date by balance brought down 1000 that's all now manikyam account debit side it is 4000 so 4000 i have taken on the debit side same 4000 minus 2500 balance is 1500 by balance carried down seventh now eighth to balance brought down 1500 last furniture account debit side we have 300 nothing on credit side so here 300 i have taken by balance carried down 300 debit side to balance brought down 300 this is 8th march and this is 7th march that's all all the transactions i have entered in journal and also i have posted them into the ledger account so this is the end of problem number seven inshallah we'll start the next problem in the next video